So at the Neurovascular Research Laboratory, what we're effectively doing is we're interested in how the brain copes with a variety of stresses, everyday stresses. Our volunteer at the moment is involved in um, an obesity-based project, and we're interested in looking at the potential link between visceral body fat, so where body fat is stored and its impact on the brain. So with the individual at the moment, our participant, uh, he's breathing in uh, quite high levels of carbon dioxide, a little bit higher than you and I would be exposed to in normal air and that's causing blood flow to the brain to increase so we measure that and how quickly he can get blood and oxygen into his brain. Uh, we've got him squatting and standing which doesn't look like a terribly difficult stimulus for the brain to cope with but it actually is and we measure how well his brain auto regulates or buffers changes in blood flow and pressure uh, as a result of that and of course we'll be exercising them then to exhaustion. So effectively what we're doing is we're really putting the brain through its paces um, and the hypothesis being that in some of the disease states, be obese individuals or elderly individuals, they're not going to cope so well as normal healthy controls.